but our academics seem mainly concerned with rummaging about in the foundation mm -hmm. text. Yes, the academics, and it was a little bit before that, does it also refer to the Buddhist centres? As if Buddhism were a religion of the book rather than a living and ongoing mode of inquiry. And to us as Buddhist radicals, it appears that we are still, to some extent, subject to the myths of the foreign European enlightenment, notably the myth of progress and attendant millennium assumptions. That's the dry text, but that before yeah. that, in the paragraph before or the paragraph after, it, it, it said conservatism of the Buddhist centers, the academics. Secondly, for the most part, Western Buddhism is still attached to an ancient ah. quasi-monastic style and culture. Yes. And its teaching and practice, which is less than fit for purpose in contemporary Western cultures. Without sacrificing their Dharma integrity, I believe our Sanghas could profit profitably inquire into how our teaching methods and public presentation could better accord with how we live now. Keep going, it might say Specifically, we need to develop more of an everyday Buddhism rooted in the ups and downs of our stress, insecure and distracted society. More attention could be given to the virgin and emotional awareness practice which has long flourished in America and drawing on the emotional fluency and interpersonal habits of Westerners. There needs to be more use of small group and other communication skills, which is... Where that, 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 that was where I came in, yeah. and a little later it spoke about things being conservative and not supporting radicals. But have we enough dharmic free thinkers of vision and yes. energy? I fear that in the UK. Sangha's institutionally conservative yes. and tradition-bound, as many are, and in, an insufficient number are likely to be tempted out of their comfort zones. Arguably, Western Buddhism, for the most part, with Tokugaka International as a noteworthy exception, functions in effect as an opiate for the educated white middle class with a taste for Asian cultures. Wow, that's quite a strong phrase, mm. an opiate, because it brings back religion is the opiate of the people. Of the masses, indeed. Thank you, Phil, for sharing okay, that no and problem. taking Thank the trouble you. of finding that from That's Ken okay. Jones' text. I'm sorry, I couldn't, couldn't find it what, earlier. <laughs> what else would you like to promote? Or, because I'm going to cut a bit of this film, promote your book, please, okay, <laughs> at the end yes. of this. <laughs> um, socially engaged Buddhism in the UK um, has been researched over the last... Which is a subtitle that can't been, be seen yeah, on the screen. Yeah, researched over the last ten years, and, and this is the book of that research, which is called Adaptation and Development. How much would I have to Western give you Buddhism. to get that advanced um, copy? These have been discounted at £58. Pounds, Mm -hmm. um, which is horrific. So if you are inclined to purchase it, go to your local library, ask them to bring it in for you, uh, and then the hope is that we would persuade Bloomsbury to produce it in paperback, paperback at, uh, cheaper at a cost. much cheaper cost. Indeed. Well, I'll, I'll buy it for you at that cost, or from you at that cost, if you can spare a copy today. Okay. Cheers. Thank you.